The best combination is to have a handful of compound exercises that are kind of your go-tos. You know, you start your lower body days with like a squat pattern or a hinge pattern. For the squat pattern, it doesn't have to be an actual squat. That could be a leg press, anything with simultaneous hip and knee extension. Or on your other days or after that, you start with a hip hinge. That's anything uh, that is primarily hip extension dominant, but also trains, you know, the lower back. So that's, you know, your glutes, your hamstrings, and your lower back, the posterior chain, if you will. And then from there, you move into your isolation movements. And then for the upper body, you basically have four cardinal movements. You have a vertical push and pull and a horizontal push and pull. And between those, you're training pretty much everything. And then you just need to throw in some isolation work to round out your weaknesses and to make sure that you're hitting some of those biarticular muscles like the long head of the tricep.